right, next story. You probably heard of polyamory, a form of consensual non-monogamy, but according to relationship columnist Dan Savage, polyamory is much more common. That's where a person turns a blind eye to cheating, making it more tolerable. Okay, married folks. <laughs> Talk to me, what do you think about this trend? Uh, the first thing that I thought of uh, when I, 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 yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, I, I figured a lot of people would say that. And I was trying to figure out a reference, like who's doing this? And the first thing I thought of was actually the White Lotus season two, if there's yeah. any fans Obviously. in the house. <laughs> and I was thinking of Cameron and Daphne. And so if yes. you watch the show, uh, th this couple, well, he was cheating and it's like, did she, she was know? too. Didn't she know? She was too. Well, not at the beginning. We, at the end, she did. But it was this idea of Tolly. That's Tolly Amory, where she knew it, but she doesn't. She doesn't challenge him on it. She doesn't say no. They go mm -hmm. home. Why? They have a beautiful family, a very comfortable life. So she kind of goes along with it and tolerates the cheating, therefore, Tolly Amory, mm -hmm. to be able to preserve their home life. And then in the end, <laughs> she does some Tolly Amory of her own. Yeah. And I guess it works. Uh, and there's a, a couple friend that I have, I'm not that close with them, but I think they're doing this. Mm -hmm. And if they are, it's working, because their marriage is great. I'm not gonna, I would, Ryan, my husband's probably going, speak more, Grello, <laughs> speak more. <laughs> Babe, I would never do this. I would never tolerate you cheating. And I wouldn't expect him to tolerate me cheating mm -hmm. either. But I could see for some people why it might work. I can see, I can actually, I feel the exact same way as you, but there's something about Tolly Amory that seems really honest in a sense. It's like you both agree that you don't want to see how the sausage is made, but you want to eat the sausage. Oh my. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to know the details, yeah. but we look like sausage. Yeah. Who doesn't On like a bun sausage? with some mustard, you know, you get yeah. the idea, no? <laughs> well, it reminds me of sort of like more of a French approach. Yeah. This is sort of like a French style of... of Existence. Like, what I, is this for, French approach? Well, just like for, it's legendary in France that, that people cheat and people just kind of turn a blind eye to it. And they just don't, it's sort of not, it's like there's so many different things to focus on in life, why are we focusing on this? And I think what it, this acknowledges is that it's like every path you choose is gonna be hard. If you choose monogamy, my goodness, it is not always the easiest path. If you choose polyamory, I'm sure that that comes with all kinds of complications. Polyamory, these are just options that are out there. They're all a challenge, and let's not pretend any different. I'll just say this, there, there's a, uh, a British uh, philosopher named Alain de Botton, and he wrote this piece called Why You Will Marry the Wrong person, it was in the New York Times oh and it my. went viral. It's very romantic. <laughs> uh, I will say that he, he, this is a quote from it that sort of sums up the energy of Tali Amory. He says, a loyal marriage ought to retain within it an awareness of the immense forbearance and generosity that two parties are mutually showing in managing to not sleep around, and for that matter, not killing each other. If one partner should happen to slip, the other might forego fury in favor of a certain bemused amusement at the stretches of fidelity and calm that the two of them likewise or otherwise have succeeded in maintaining against such great odds. And I think it's, everyone's gonna be quiet. You're yeah. processing it. Yeah. But it's just kind of a way of kind of going like, it's, is it the worst sin in the world if you've had a successful marriage in all other regards, if there's a one-off of a slip up? Yes, yeah. Ryan, yes, <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, you know, I'll just say this much. I feel like there's a term for it, but I feel like so many of the women, the older women in my generation, in my family, like grandmother, aunts, they were doing this. They just didn't have a they term are? for it. Yeah, you're tolerant. Don't you think these husbands were doing, were always doing right by their wives? I feel like they're just now because we have terms for these things. But these things where I everybody was, right. everybody was tolerating some nonsense. Right? Right? I think them. the wives were tolerating the men cheating. Oh, uh, uh, but do absolutely. You, think, you never think the wives were also getting. They, women are notoriously saying, better at hiding. I can't speak on behalf of my grandmother yeah. and what she was doing, but I think it was like back then it was a difference because you know getting divorced wasn't a conversation. You also didn't yeah. have the financial means to support yourself. Yeah. Right. So I think a lot of times they were just like, I tolerate because this is what it is. And while we're there going, oh my God, 54 years of marriage. It's like, yeah, but talk about all the little stuff that happened in between. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot of tolerating, yeah, right? So. I love that. It's yeah. always been around. It's always been around. We just didn't have a name and for a it. A term for it. Yeah. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.